we went a little crazy with the rhinestones. We can calm down now. Look at this girl, she's just killing it with this bag. I have this vision of just being on the coast in Europe with your raffia bag. It's a vibe. The more that I look at it, the more I'm like, it kind of just looks like a bunch of band-aids. It's definitely an acquired taste of a bag though. I've just acquired the taste. Like you never see matte handbags. They're all so beautiful. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all of my dream bags. This is my designer bag wish list video. Recently, I put out a handbag collection video and a couple of people suggested that I make a handbag wish list video. And so that's what we're doing today. From Chanel to Dior to Prada to YSL to Louis Vuitton, Fendi and Bottega Veneta. I have a good list going on guys. So if you wanna see what bags I am crushing on at the moment, then keep watching. If you're new here, then welcome. And if not, then welcome back. My name is Lisa Gabrielle and I make videos on fashion and beauty and wellness and lifestyle and sometimes luxury. So if you like that kind of content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can join the family. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. So do consider hitting that subscribe button so we can make it. My goal is by the end of the summer to hit a thousand subscribers. And I think we're a couple weeks away. So I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to check me out on those platforms, then you're more than welcome to. I will leave those links down below. I also would love to hear your input throughout this video because I haven't made like decisive decisions on sizes or colors. And so I'm going to show all of the colors and all of the sizes that I would consider. And I'd love to hear your feedback. So if you have any comments, as always, I love having discussions with you guys in the comments, but especially in this video, just because there's so many open-ended questions that I have. So yeah, leave it all in the comments down below and let's have a chat. Okay, now that we've done our housekeeping, let's get into my ultimate bag wish list video. We're gonna start with Dior. The one Dior bag that I'm absolutely obsessed with and I've been obsessed with for a consistent amount of time is the Lady Dior. It was designed specifically for Princess Diana and she wore it a ton. And so because it's been around for so long and has that history and because Diana was such a style icon, this bag is loved by many. It is definitely the most iconic of the Dior bags. With that said, I love this bag. Both the small and the mini are just, mm chef's kiss. I've tried them on in store and could not decide between the two. So. so I'm definitely looking to add a white bag in my collection. And so I would consider all of the bags that I'm gonna talk about in white. As beautiful as the mini Dior bag in white is, I don't think I would get it just because the material is in lambskin and I feel like it's just gonna mark up like crazy. So love it in white, but if I were to go for this bag, I would consider the ultra matte black. Looking at this on the website, it really doesn't do it justice. I would have never considered this had I not seen it in store and tried it on and just kind of like, in person it just has this really interesting allure because it's matte. Like you never see matte handbags. You see matte paint jobs on cars and they look badass and awesome. The same effect actually I find really translates to this bag. In particular in black, the matte just there's something so edgy and like interesting about it. I really do like it. And in the mini size, the fact that it's got so many intricate details, but in such a mini size, I just like, I love that. I love lots of details in a small package. This is a reoccurring theme that you're gonna see throughout my handbag wish list video, but yeah. That is the um, Lady Dior in the mini. And then I'd say if I was gonna go for the small, I would either go for this kind of beige caramel color. I think it's a little bit more pink in person. It's still not a large bag, but you do lose some of that dressiness that the mini has. I would actually consider, oh, there's the ultra matte in white. It's also cool in white, but I feel like if I were to go for the small, I would actually go for it in the toile canvas print. If I was going for more of a winter color, I would probably do this blue and beige. The more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. It's really cool. And it works in the summer as well. I actually think this is my favorite combination. Wow. I think they just released it in this color, but I'm, I'm in love. Oh my God, it's so nice. So the other color that I was like very into, well, two colors actually, are the twelve in the blue, the navy and white. I think it's so pretty for summer. It's just like, ugh, I love it. That was probably, I think I saw this on someone and I was like, ugh, love it. 
instantly attracted to it. But then I also really like it in this dusty rose color. I think it would just have to be one of those things where I would like look at what season I would wear it in, what coats, what outfits I would pair it with and make my decision based off of that. So yeah, to cap it off from Dior, I would either go for the Lady Dior in the 12 print, one of the colors that I mentioned, or the mini in the matte black probably. So next we have Chanel. I have two Chanel bags already. I have the classic flap and I have the wallet on chain. I love the Chanel classic flaps. Those are for me the ultimate bag. That said, I also do really like the boy bag. Instead of going out and purchasing another classic flap, I would probably consider the boy bag first. It still encompasses that classic look that the Chanel classic flap has, but with a bit of a modern twist. I really like it in warm, kind of earthy, like neutral tones. On the website right now, Right now they have the, I think it's the, the medium size in this taupe color, which is beautiful, but they don't have very many other colors. I looked on Fashion File and they actually have a great selection of boy bags. Any type of consignment store has a really good selection specifically of the boy bags. So I would probably consider getting one from a consignment store. That way you also have a lot more selection in terms of the color that you're gonna go for. So I would be open to either the small or the medium, but I also really like it in this light gray color. Ooh, I think actually that would be the one. I don't know, what do you guys think? Also in white, it's very, very pretty. So this one has light gray, but very strong gold hardware, whereas this one is, is a bit more champagne-y. I think I'd go for this one. Are they both medium? Yeah, they're both medium. This one's $600 cheaper. Next up is Gucci. There is one bag from Gucci that I would consider picking up, and that is the Gucci Dionysus. This bag is iconic, it's classy, beautiful, it's everything that you would want in a bag. And I like this bag because the silhouette is really classic, but then the chain and the snake dragon clasp adds this kind of edge that I really like. It's just a really beautiful bag. In terms of size, I'm pretty set on the small. In terms of the color, I really like this beige white combo with the monogram print. I've gone back and forth with whether or not I like the Gucci monogram print, but if it's done in a tasteful way, I like it. I am very selective with my monogram prints though. I think just a little bit is like, yeah, that adds a nice touch. If it's too in your face, then I tend to personally veer a little bit further away from those. Um, but I feel like the execution of it in this color combination is just really, it's subtle, but it's there. You know what I mean? This one is a little bit more on the loud side for sure in terms of the print, but I don't know, it's like so cute for fall. I don't know why it's giving me Gossip Girl vibes, but it kind of is. There's something about the big GG. Oh my God, Gossip Girl. That's why it's giving me Gossip Girl vibes. <laughs> I didn't even mean like literally, I meant the aesthetic, the style, but yeah, anyway. I really like it in this color combo and this would be probably more of like a fall color combo, whereas the white one would be more of a summer bag. And then I also really like it in the full white leather. I think there's something really elegant about it. I think there's also gemstones on the clasp in the white that the monogram ones don't have, which adds obviously a little bit more glam. So I really like it in white as well. And it's kind of an off white, so that's her. Love the Gucci Dionysus. Moving on to Fendi. Anyone who's watched Sex in the City deserves to have a Fendi baguette. The show put Fendi in my heart. Similar to the appeal of the Lady Dior and the history of that bag, the history of the Fendi baguette in Sex and the City is kind of iconic in its own way as well. So I want at some point to add a Fendi baguette to my collection. And I love it in this baby blue. Obviously like a neutral would also be a great addition, but I thought because I'm showing you guys so many neutral bags, like, okay, this off-white is stunning, beautiful, but I'm trying to be a little bit more colorful and get out there for you guys. So that's why I was like, okay, maybe in the blue, actually. It's the perfect shade of blue, so pretty. Blue is my favorite color in case you did not know that. The Fendi baguette comes in so many different styles and sizes, but it's this particular version that really speaks to my style. I like the fact that the strap is a chain and then it has like the leather on top. I love that look. I find it's really, you can dress it up very easily. A lot of the other baguettes come with a guitar strap and so there's no chain. 
and I find that look is a bit more on the casual side. The chain adds a versatile dressy element, which is very in line with my style. I also like the simplicity of the F being embossed as opposed to a print, because again, it's not in your face. You've obviously still got the logo, but it's done in a more subtle way. So I really like this version of the Fendi baguette. I think it's called the the baguette chain midi. Going even more on the adventurous side is the Fendi first. I think this bag is stunning. This mint green color also is just chef's kiss beautiful. I even like it in the medium size, weirdly. Like, I like it in the small size as well in this kind of beige color. Realistically, if I were to ever get this bag, it would probably be the small size, but the medium is just like, hello. I don't know. She's got my interest. I think if I was to add this to my collection, I would be at a point where I'd have my neutrals covered. Like right now I do have a gap in terms of whites and beiges, but if I was to add the Fendi first into my collection, I would feel like it would be after a point where I had more beiges. So I probably would go for something more adventurous like this mint green. And then we have the mint green in this basket weave leather situation. I don't even know what to call this, but it's so beautiful. It's kind of similar to Bottega Veneta, but different. It's got a different feel and I really like it. So I think if I was to go for the Fendi first, I think I would go for this one. And because the majority of my wardrobe are neutrals, I could very easily get away with getting a mint green bag and still wearing it frequently. Yeah, I think I'd go for that one. I have a new obsession with Bottega. There's a lot of bags that I would consider picking up from Bottega. One of them is actually the mini pouch. I think it's so cute, especially in white, but they also have it in this gorgeous powder blue, which is just like so fun and summery. Of course, the Kelly green is pretty iconic. I feel like that's had its moment over the past year. I would consider it. Another variation is the camera loop bag, which is very similar in shape to the mini pouch, but I think you could probably just fit more. Like it's a bit more of a practical shape. And this purple color is really speaking to me. I don't think I would get it because I really don't have any purple in my wardrobe whatsoever, but it's a beautiful color, right? Now, you know, I thought I'd like it in the almond, but ne the more that I look at it, the more I'm like, it kind of just looks like a bunch of band-aids sorry if you have this bag it's still beautiful but like now that i said that i can't unsee it really like the mini jody i feel like my boyfriend would hate this bag there's something really interesting about the shape of this bag the jody has been around for quite some time so it is more of their classic kind of aesthetic then there's the chain cassette bag which it took me a minute, but I actually really like the chain cassette bag. I think it's such an interesting shape. The chain is just so extra. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like just the right amount of extra that I like it. You know what I mean? Logistically, I've heard that it's very heavy. On the bright side, I guess it's like your bag is giving you a bit of a workout, you know, adding a little more weight to your step. Because the bag itself is so intense, I probably would go for it in the neutral color. The question would be whether it would be in the suede or in the leather version. It's definitely an acquired taste of a bag though. I do get that. I've just acquired the taste. All right, so next we have Louis Vuitton. There's actually a few bags that I would consider getting from Louis Vuitton, and they're not what you would normally expect from Louis Vuitton. Right now, the bag that I have is the Alma BB, and I have that in the Damier Aben print, which I love. But I think if I were to go for another Louis Vuitton bag, I wouldn't go for the monogram, and I wouldn't go for the Damier Aben. I'd go for something else. Like for example, the Raffia twist bag. I think Raffia bags for summer are everything. I have this vision of just being on the coast in Europe with your Raffia bag and your big sun hat and like, it's a vibe. I think that this bag is one of my favorite executions of that look. I don't normally like the twist bag by Louis Vuitton, but I really do like it in the Raffia. The combination between the chain and also just like the gold logo juxtaposes with the casualness of the raffia in a really beautiful way. It just makes the raffia bag more versatile so you can wear it during the day, but also for dinner and it's a little bit dressier. So that's why I really like this version of the raffia and the twist bag. Now, realistically, I probably would go for the on-the-go bag in this bicolor monogram emprunt leather. I think it's just stunning. So classic, 
I know I said I wouldn't go for monogram, but technically this is a different version of monogram. This is not the classic Louis Vuitton monogram. Yes, the logos are bigger, <laughs> but the black and white, I just love. I guess it's black and beige, but like, look at this girl. She's just killing it with this bag. I love it. And I don't have any bags in this particular shape. So it would also be diversification in my collection. I would probably go for the MM size. That way I could fit my laptop and I could use it for work and, and whatnot. Um, but I also do like it in the PM size. And I think if I were to do the PM size, I would probably do it in the Dove Cream color combination just to be different. So if I did the MM, I would go for the black. And then if I were to go for the PM, I would go for the taupe. That way, you know, in this hypothetical world where money is no object, I can have both. <laughs> the PM is nice because it's also the right size where if you wanted to, you could dress it up a little bit and take it to dinner. But I wouldn't do that with the MM. I also really like the easy pouch and I would consider this as a white bag addition to my collection because it's reasonably priced. I like that because it comes with both a chain strap and a leather strap. You've got three bags in one. You can either wear them all together or you could just wear the chain if you want to be a bit more dressy or you could just wear the leather. Love the versatility there. I would also consider the Speedy 25 in the Emprunt leather. I really like it in this taupe color. Always see it in the monogram print or the Damier Aben print or the Damier Azur print, but you never see it in this Emprunt leather and I really like it, especially in this taupe color. There's something about this color, you guys, that's really speaking to me right now. There's something very unique and classic about it that I really like. Next up is YSL, which realistically would probably be my next bag because I've been obsessed with the sunset bag. When it comes to the sunset, I love the crocodile in the cream with the shiny gold hardware. I also really like it in the beige, but then I also like the smooth leather in both the beige and the off-white. I just don't know which one to go with. So I turn the page to you guys. Should I go for the smooth leather in the white or the tan? Or should I go for the croc leather with the shiny gold hardware in the tan or the off-white? I, I don't know. I really don't know. They're all so beautiful. I also really like the Lulu bag. The Lulu is probably my favorite execution of this puffed leather style of bag. Even though this is kind of like a trendy thing, I think the way that it's executed in the Lulu is timeless. Surprise, surprise, I also like it in like a million different neutral colors. So you guys have a lot of homework. You have to tell me whether I should go for the Lulu or the sunset and then which color to go in for each of them because we just like them all. YSL does a good job. I really like YSL. Okay, so for Prada, I'm actually a very big fan of the Prada reissue. I think the nylon series is so much fun. I definitely flirted with the idea of getting one of them at some point. In terms of like wow factor, I'm so drawn to the satin mini bag with crystals. It just next level. Like I can't even chef's kiss this one because I'm just like, I need to like double chef's kiss. It's ugh, so beautiful. I love the rhinestone trend so much. It's just so much fun. I would 100% grab this bag. So fun for date night, so fun for going out. It's just one of those bags that would bring me so much joy just to like look at, you know what I mean? What do you guys think about the rhinestone trend? Is it here to stay or in a year are we going to look back in time and be like, okay, we went a little crazy with the rhinestones. We can calm down now. I feel like personally, I'm always gonna love the rhinestones. Come to think of it, I have like five sequined dresses in my closet. It makes sense I like this bag so much. That concludes my designer handbag wish list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for making it to the end. Well done. Let me know in the comments what your favorite bag was. And also if you have any input in my massive amount of indecision on sizes and colors, let me know your thoughts as well. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, then consider subscribing and joining the family and we can hit 1000 together. Just a reminder, my socials are linked down below. And if you haven't seen my handbag collection video already or my shoe collection video, then maybe go check those out next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.